So here's the Philips Pico Pix Max. And hi, so who are you? Hello, my name is Toby, and I work for Philips. And we're presenting our latest collection here at the IFA. And this is uh, on Indiegogo right now, a seller at 419 euro. Exactly. And, uh, this is a uh, 1080p. Exactly. It's a full HD projector um, from Philips. It's the first time Philips is um, collaborating with Indiegogo. Um, we are in the process of developing the product. People are highly um, interacting, participating in the whole process, and uh, it's been a huge success. Um, it's been the second most successful campaign on Indiegogo within two days already. Um, over 5,000 projectors already sold, and our team is really engaging with the audience. 400 euros, 419 is really good price. With 800 lumen, it's not dark. Is it good? Exactly. Is it's a good 1080p, very compact. It's bright, um, full HD, like I said. Yeah. It's very compact. Um, it's it's basically the best mobile projector in the market. It's smart. Really? It comes with Android, so you can install your favorite apps like Netflix, for example, YouTube. So it's got like an iron processor inside that's running the full Android. Exactly, we have Android on it. So um, we have speakers, as you and can here, see here. here. So you can have an HDMI input. So you can take any source in, right? Absolutely. You can connect your computer, your other TV boxes, your Chromecast. But maybe it could do Chromecast if it's an Android. Depends yeah. how it's implemented, right? And what's your Type C? Type C? Exactly, Type C. So we are we're Apple ready. So you can uh, connect with the uh, with iPhones, with Androids. Um, but Type C, I guess, could also be extra host ports. And you can connect your speakers and a mini jack. And you can put a micro SD. And there's a Kensington lock right here. But actually, this is even battery powered. It is battery powered. It gives you up to like three hours um, battery power. Definitely enough for a movie. Absolutely. And it's smart. Eh? That's really something I like to point out. You really can install your apps already on the device. And it has built in speaker. It has built in speaker. But of course, you can pair with your favorite Bluetooth speaker. It's not speaker. a huge. Uh, it's not a huge volume, no? no it's, a, it's not a huge volume. I mean, it's, it's still a, a smart and mobile projector, but that's why we have Bluetooth integrated. Um, so to you give can you have a nice Bluetooth speaker and, uh, wow, boom, you have a movie. That, absolutely. Movie night anywhere you want. <laughs> and then here you are showing the Screenio S6. This S is a 4K S6, yeah. projector with the built-in loud sound. So uh, when is this in the market? Uh, this is launching right now. So you can uh, you can get it right now. And uh, how much is the price? Uh, it retails for one thousand seven hundred ninety-nine. With a two four uh, K sixty inputs, maybe with an Ethernet, so it also runs Android. Exactly, it also runs Android. It comes with a little uh, we call it Air Mode. Um, yeah. And uh, we can go around like this. Exactly, I and mean, you see the picture over there. So this is a. Uh, it looks like I can show you maybe. It's not. It's not a Android TV, is it? <laughs> no, it's not an Android TV. It's an Android operating system. So you can install your favorite app. Yeah. And of course, you can also just stream them from your phone and tablet wirelessly. So you have Kodi and whatever apps people want. We have also an app to store, so you can just download a lot of apps. But uh, uh, you have an office also in Switzerland, right? And uh, it's not in the EU, but the EU is pushing for Google to provide the Google Play Store to more and more devices. Potentially, there could be a Google Play Store here uh, eventually, maybe. But uh, on the app to it, is it connected now? Uh, I don't think it's connected right now. So we don't have connected to the internet right now. And then in there, there's Netflix and everything. And then, exactly. So that means it's a certified device for the DRM and everything. So, so all these apps are working. You can also code in whatever you want. All right, and uh, the, what's the lumen? This is uh, two thousand. Yes, it's it's really bright enough. Um, I mean, you can see here at the show we have lots of light um, from from the ceilings, like shining here on the booth, um, and it still gives you a very nice picture. Nice. Uh, what's this one? Uh, that's the basically the little brother of the um, S6, of the S4. Uh, also HDR, but it's a full HD, uh, not a 4K projector, and it retails for 1,199. Nice. And uh, you're showing that you can do wireless something with a tablet, or 
Yeah, the tablets is more like for information. Um, oh, these yeah. are our our portable wireless projectors. It's called the PicoPic series. Uh, that's the Nano here. That's the Micro. Especially the, the little brothers of the um, PicoPic Max, which you can get on Indiegogo. Here you see um, the ports, the connectors. It, what is the resolution? 720p or? This is QHD and this is NHD. So um, Q QHD means um, 960 times something. <laughs> exactly, times something. <laughs> um, so we have we have right now we have three um, devices in the PicoPix range: the Nano, the Micro, and uh, the Max. And the new lumens here? The lumens are. This is 150, and this is like 100. All right. Well, we're talking about Philips color lumens. It's a little bit different than the normal lumens. And then we have um, the the NeoPix range, which is really like an entry range of projectors. Very affordable. Huh? Very affordable. They start at just like 69 euros, going up to um, 200 euros for an HD projector, LED. Is it HD? What HD? Not 1080. No, not 1080. 1080 supported and 720. So 720 uh, resolution. Exactly. Uh, and this is kind of like an LCD projector, right? It's not a. Yeah, it doesn't give you the the, the sh It's not a DLP. It's not a DLP. Exactly. It's more like a, yeah, like an entry projector. You know, if you maybe it's your first time, you want to buy a projector. You don't have the big budget for it, but you want to try it. And and this is your range. 199, and this is 69. The small one. What's the resolution uh, here? This one is 69. That's a very very low resolution, 200. All right. Um, that's a very low. This is more like our start. It's, it's really Starter. up to your starting projector. Maybe for your kids, you know, if you want to, if they want to play with their little Nintendo or something. Nice. And, and then, then we you have, have a short throw. Absolutely. That's been our third generation of the, the Screenier Ultra Short Distance. So, uh, that's not 4K, is it? No, that's full HD. Comes with a handle. What's the price? It has uh, 2.1 Dolby speakers with a subwoofer yes, inside, so it's really all in one over short distance. So. It's more than more than 2,000 euro. Uh, it retails for 1,899. 1,899. And it does a really big screen. Yeah, I mean, look at the distance. Huh? It's like this far away from the wall. And you can't even put it closer. Like 20 centimeters is what you what you should like as a minimum have. So what's your positioning uh, so far with the Philips brand? Um, are you uh, one of the European leaders in the projector business? Well, we're definitely um, the leader when it comes to end-user projectors. So if, you, if you're like an end-user and you're looking for a projector between yeah, 100 and 2,000 euros, you will find a device within our portfolio. And uh, selling only in Europe or USA? No, we, we sell across the world. Asia also, you sell everywhere? If, 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 if you're in the US, we are starting on Amazon this month, for example. It's probably the easiest access point. We're selling in China, we're starting in Australia. Of course, in Europe, being Philips, a European company, we are, we are very present. And nice. we use EFA especially to the European markets to show our new portfolio. But this uh, portfolio is uh, with a Swiss office, right? So we also, have, have, a, we also have a Swiss office. On? Well, basically, I mean, we are in the Philips family, so we are across the world. Um, right. 